Well, I'm in the process of uh, refinishing a couple of dressers and uh, I guess a, a little makeup desk. Um, I haven't done anything to the makeup desk other than just give it a quick washing. Uh, it smelled like mold and so I put a bit of it of bleach in water which is probably not a very good thing to do. But also the cabinets are pretty bad shape. They are, if you touch them they feel really grainy. Um, the, the varnish is kind of pocketed and just really looks nasty. These are the drawer knobs that I've already taken off. Uh, they just had two screws in the back. One and two. Now to get you caught up to speed on what I've done so far, I've uh, washed them with a little bit of bleach water, rinsed them with, with just clean plain water, and let them dry outside in the sun, which really isn't the best idea either. It's better to dry them in the shade. Uh, because the sun's not very good for it, but it's winter time, a little bit overcast, so I really wasn't worried about it. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper with an orbital, which is really too rough. Now I had some really deep scratches in the top here and I just basically keep sanding through them until I finally get them to go away. Still a couple little ones right there but I'm not going to worry about them too much because I'm going to use a, a dark uh, stain it's red mahogany. Um, and I still got to do all these corners. Um, this needs another sanding over. This is still too much varnish and stain on this. All these things have to go. But I'm using uh, my new sander. My other one burnt out. And um, I'm using 150 grit sandpaper. I got all the faces over here. They're roughly done. But I got to go over them one more time. Get a little more of that stain and varnish off. I want to keep the DA pretty much flat but sometimes to get a groove out or to cut a little bit faster I put a little pressure on one edge you know whatever edge I'm trying to go to and that cuts it much faster but I don't want to do that the whole time because then I might get gouges and ripples and stuff in the wood so I want to keep it pretty much flat but sometimes I do tilt it just a little bit to get it to cut a little bit faster and I'm going to try to get uh, some of this. I don't want to burn it too much, but I'm going to go over it kind of quick. To get into these screws, I'm going to have to use a wire brush. I can also see that it's the top is a little bit delaminated right here. I'll we'll probably squeeze a little bit of wood glue underneath this. Try to get that to hold back down. And I'm going to just tilt it a little bit. <laughs>
I just did a real quick pass on it because if I fool with it too much, I'll wear a groove in it. You don't want to do that. Just a quick over it and the rest I'll have to get with the wire brush. Same with these things right here. I'm just going to give it a little tilt. Just real lightly and kind of a wobble on both sides. Actually, these edges stick out just a little bit further than these grooves here. And I don't want to sand them all uh, flush. And I got the majority of it done. So now I'm switching over to this little triangle uh, corner sander. Now I'm going to hit it with some 100 grit. And I'm just going to really lightly touch it. I'm not going to try to push hard at all because I don't want to leave gouges. And when I'm done with the 100, I'm going to go back over it with 240 because I don't have any 150. 150, if I had it, I would use it the whole time and not bother with the 100. But the 240 would probably gum up and take too long to get that all of that off that quick. So the, the 100 will take it down fast. But if you don't press hard, you probably won't scratch it. But you have to go back over it with something finer. Otherwise, you'll see a lot of those scratches in the stain. going to do a quick pass along all these edges. Just a real quickie. I'm getting ready to go and put the stain on. I'm going to be using some men wax. I'm going to pour it into this other can, stir it up, make sure it's good and stirred. And then I'm going to brush it on uh, a small area, probably like one whole side at a time. And then wipe it off with a rag and move around to the next side and just keep going until I get the whole project done. It's awfully hot in this garage. I'm going to have my fan blowing. Um, and the idea is to try to keep myself from sweating too much because I don't want to be dripping water or dripping sweat on the cabinet because that would not not work very well. <laughs> 